What's up everyone? I'm back with another video. Um, I'm going to try to do a little bit of fishing today. Uh, I've got a lake that I've never been to that I'm going to go check out. Um, and if you've got a small business in the Texarkana area and you want to help support my channel, I've got a business um, email in the description below. But other than that, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy. So, first thing I'm going to do today is a side-by-side -side comparison of the Fishing Care Package um, versus the Mystery Tackle Box. So the Fishing Care Package, you can pick it up at Academy for 20 bucks. The Mystery Tackle Box is a $25 box, so obviously there's going to be a little more value in it. But, I've broke it down to where um, each item per box versus the retail value and and all that anyways let's get into what's in each box so starting off fishing care package now what's in here starting off we have the Matsu it says Zanda Shad Diver we have a Eagle Claw 10 bass jig that's in black and blue we've got uh, the fishing care package brand pursuit series almost like a little swim bait it's a copper color. We've got a Trax. Um, it's black neon, black and red fleck. Oh, wow, y'all can't see that at all. Let's see. Yeah, that's just the lighting out here. I apologize. Um, but it's just a little stick bait. We have Fishing Care Package Pursuit Series. Another little uh, stick bait. I like that color. Then we have the Danielson. Um, offset worm hooks and that's everything in that box now we've got the mystery tackle box so obviously you've got your dibble paper this tells you how much everything is retail on the Carl's site you can get a sticker with it so starting with the baits we've got a shiver crank it's a really pretty color I like it we've got a nano jig uh, it's going to be like a, yeah, I don't even know what color that would be. Um, Z-Man, little creature. We've got a reaction strike, um, little jerk slash crank. We've got Excite Baits, Baby Uber Shad. That's a shad color. We've got five inch stick bait. Um, these are just little little hooks. And then we have, last but not least in here, we have a boot tail um, little swim bait. So that's what you get in those. That's um now again, the, the Mystery Tackle Box is $25, um, but like I said, I've got it broke down as far as how everything works out. I've, I've got my cheat sheet right here. So, Mystery Tackle Box, you've got, let's see, you've got this, the Reaction Strike Bait is $9.99, so you've got the swim bait that is $8.99 so the Carl's bait the uh, shiver crank is $6.99 the Z-Man uh, creature bait is $4.99 the nano jig is $4.49 um, these hooks are 375, and the Excite Baits uh, Uber Shad is 356. So, in the Fishing Care Pack, we have the Pursuit Series Worms are 399. 
the Pursuit Series swim bait is $3.99. The Attrax worms are $4.79. The Tin Bass Jig is $3.09. The Danielson Hooks are $7.26. That's the second most expensive thing in there. Um, and then you have the Zanda Shad is $9.94. The Mystery Tackle Box for the value um, of what's in the box and all that is a dollar and 43 cents retail value better. Now that's before tax. So if you're curious about um, if you're curious about the uh, getting more bang for your buck as far as which one, um, then that's going to be the mystery tackle box by a dollar and 43 cents. Now there's that. And I'm not, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to do a, uh, I'm going to try to catch fish on stuff out of both boxes. It's kind of a, kind of a cloudy day today, so what I'm probably going to start with, um, I'm going to start with one on each, or one out of each. I'm probably going to start with these copper colored swim baits on that one with the worm hooks and that's for the, mystery, uh, for the fishing care package not for the mystery tackle box I'm probably going to start with um, let's see I'll probably do these baby uber shad with a uh, with an underspin so stay tuned and enjoy if you can see it or not probably not but water temperature is currently 49 degrees and I'm sitting at one foot so oh yes Oh yes. Well then. Don't know if you knew this or not, but I'm a amazing at catching trees. That's what happens when you're terrible at tying knots. Right there. That right there is what happens. I'm making another switch here to a little bit smaller presentation. Um, see, there's a couple of different things that that I've noticed in the time that I've had uh, the mystery tackle box, and most of that is they send you relevant items. What I mean by that is they send you items for you know that time of year and all that. So here's, here's the thing. They also send you, like this jig, the nano jig, goes really, really good with this little Z-Man uh, creature bait that they sent. So I'm about to pair that together and try that. So as far as, uh, so far, as far as the, um, you know, the looks of, Golly, that's soft. As far as the looks of the um, the action of the swim baits, the one that I got from Carl's is, uh, sorry, the one that I got from Mystery Tackle Box is actually really, really solid. The one that I got from Lucky Tackle Box, not so much. So that right there is the combo that I'm about to start using right now. It ought to do something, hopefully. So, so far, the deepest area I've found on this lake has been about 8 foot, 10 foot. Sorry, it was 10 foot, and then my depth finder died. So I need to go get some more batteries for it. But, um, so far, the deepest part's been about 10 foot. And, let's see, where are we at right here? Oh, we got a little bit of depth right here. That ain't bad. But, there's a lot of grass. 
which tells me this is normally a pretty clear lake. Um, with it normally being pretty clear, you know, muddy water is not really working in my favor at all, but. used to uh my grandfather would take me fishing and I used to get so mad whenever he would uh, be so far away from the from the bank because I always like to throw up to the bank and uh, I like to throw up to the bank because a lot of times um, like a bluegill or a big warm mouth something like that would uh would pop at it on the bank and I loved it I always fished topwater back then, and uh, and I always got onto him because I could never reach the bank. But uh, it was my own fault, you know. Uh, I was running, I was running 20 pound tests with um, on monofilament, so I mean it was just eating up that airtime, you know. And um, as I got a little bit older, I realized that uh, the fish aren't going to be on the bank, you know, but just a little fun little tidbit. Alright, so I'm going to go to a different lake. I didn't catch anything there. Um, stay tuned. Alright, so made the swap to a different lake. Um, let's see what this one has, to, has in store. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Um, I did find out that it takes forever to get for this little 25 horse to push this flat bottom across this lake. Uh, oh well. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'm out.